Look at all those batteries. So this is the setup we've used before. Two batteries, we plug them in to make a 24 volt battery, aka 6S. And I would consider that kindergarten level. Now that's when I decided to make this connection. So 50 volts comes out of these alarmingly thin wires. AKA 12S, AKA Simon level, and it's all going in that boat. Okay, I, I did get the EC to work. It's stupid, but it seems like the fancier you go, the more of a pain in the ass it is. Like 99% of the ECs have an internal BC. This one, of course not. So you have to add your own and plug in this battery to give power to the receiver and the servo in the back. Waterproof for your protection, by the way. I wish you could feel how heavy this boat is because it ain't light, but at least I can give you the numbers and it is, 4,450 grams. 1,727 grams. Um, a little math. Uh, that's over six kilograms of weight. It's pretty heavy. Oh, uh, oh man, I gotta be careful. I might build muscle.
Okay, okay, Simon did an oopsie and didn't dip. I didn't crisscross applesauce the wires, so uh, the motor was spinning the wrong way. But now it should work. It works. This is test one, numero uno, 12 cell, supersonic speed. Let's do it. Turns well to the right, but not to the left. Well, maybe you couldn't see a very noticeable difference, and I don't blame you, I couldn't either. And I think it's due to two things. This new EC doesn't have a very high acceleration point. The old EC punched the motor way harder. This one is a more, much more gradual increase in speed. Number two is this fat GoPro up front. I could see it being a little bit nose heavy sometimes. So I'm gonna remove that GoPro, and that's gonna be all the onboard footage that you get. This is a full throttle test, let's see how fast it is. Okay, this is a full throttle test, all eggs in one basket. If it catches on fire, who cares? It, it literally shot off. Well, back in the water. It's cold, it's wet, sandy. Oh, okay, it works. It died. Oh no, no, no. Oh crap. So I didn't have any control, the servo just stopped working out of the blue, so this is water rescue number two. Okay, we're gonna open the small for me pretty soon. Yeah, back up. I am cold AF, but I got the boat. That's right, rescued by a drone. Work harder, not smarter. Wait. Very fast. I'm almost impressed. I, I do wish we had some kind of device to measure the speed because I have no idea how fast it is in kilometers an hour or miles per hour and I didn't feel like putting my phone there. Oh yeah, that's a nice segue to why I didn't use the hatch to protect water from getting in and a very interesting phenomenon. 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 You could leave it in water for hours and wouldn't detect a single drop, but as soon as you start up the jet drive, water would just flush in. Using a hatch to protect water from getting in? That's just this guy. The, the reason it stopped though, I'm not sure. It could have been the BC not being waterproofed adequately and that would cut the power to the receiver. The acceleration time frame was just ridiculous. It was about five seconds from the moment you pulled the trigger for the boat to reach full speed. Uh, it made it very difficult for the men with the camera, AKA me, to know where and when the boat would be at full throttle. But hey, it didn't catch fire. And here, and here is the boat to prove it. So I would consider this a win. Don't forget to like and subscribe.